until in the summer of 1937, the shots were fired which marked the beginning of the Second World War. Two years before Britain, four years before Russia and America, the Great World Amusement Center went to war. The shooting began in Shanghai on the rainy night of Friday the 12th of August. It was warm and humid. Next morning, four Chinese pilots took to the air to attack Japanese positions in the city. People gathered to watch and cheer. Inside the Great World, the fun was suspended. The building had been turned into a refugee camp. It sheltered thousands of women and children. When the Chinese bombers missed their target, the Great World took a direct hit. Thousands were killed. The Chinese bombs hit the center of the international settlement. It was a bloodbath. For the Westerners, August 1937 was a profound shock. The North China Daily News announced that the presence of the British wives was a positive menace to the lives of their menfolk. They were evacuated. We allow one more inch of our territory to be lost, Chiang Kai-shek had said. We shall be guilty of an unpardonable crime against our race. The war was still undeclared. Chiang called for an all-out stand. The Japanese were unstoppable. Thirty years later, a visiting Japanese dignitary expressed regret to the communist leader, Mao Zedong. Mao replied, there is no need to apologize. If the Japanese had not occupied half of China, it would have been impossible for the entire Chinese population to rise and fight the Japanese invader. And then Mao smiled and said, should I thank you? You have seen in the pictures and you have read of the destruction of homes and the terrible slaughters being carried out by the Japanese throughout our country, wherever their bombers could fly. Chiang Kai-shek, his wife and his supporters, now faced a war which was to last 12 years and end in bitter failure. The flags of the nationalist Kuomintang fly now only in the island of Taiwan, occupied by Chiang Kai-shek in his last defeat. The nationalists have turned their capital, Taipei, into the noisy and bustling center of one of Asia's fastest growing capitalist economies. But even this success is a bitter reminder of what might have been. Taiwan is a last resting place. Chang's statue looks down on the tourists who come to his National Palace Museum. They come to see the treasures which belong to the forbidden city in Beijing. The priceless hoard of the emperors of China brought to Taiwan at the end of an epic journey of escape. Our luck was very good. We packed them all onto trucks and set off without knowing where we were going to take them. It was 16 years before we found a permanent home for them. We searched everywhere, tried every place. We had some dangerous moments, bombing for example. Every time we moved, bombs would drop behind us. Of course, we worked fast. We didn't lose a single crate through bombing. We didn't lose a single crate through lorries overturning. 
We all say it wasn't us. It was the treasures. The treasures have a spirit of their own. The spiritual heritage of China, rescued against all the odds, first from the Japanese and then from the communists. Shipped to Taiwan by the self-appointed guardians of the national soul. Millions of nationalists fled the mainland after the communist victory in 1949. Mr. Na was just one of them. He guards the burial place of Chiang Kai-shek's ideal. Thoroughly to militarize the life of the people of the entire nation, to make them nourish courage and alertness, a capacity to endure hardship, to make them willing to sacrifice for the nation at all times. Lam Dai Wei Wa, Hodo Hong Kong and Gun Boom Zido, say ye in Zihao, Yahodo Wazi Ying Guan, Changing Sum Tao Hong Kong to the Gong, Jun Hong Kong Yaki Gong Jong. Lady Hamanda had paid Matula, Niji Joji, Panyan, Mzida Sizing, A Tauga de Gia, Bugger So Gina, the Paki and He Sang Yoga, be a Bunyaj of your Satu. Tell Chi Guan and Fun Chang, my Jong, Ying Guan for Motun Sing Yun. 幾乎全部係淪陷期間殉職嘅特工，佢哋嘅事蹟亦都係喺幾十年之後，官方保密失效，先至逐漸被揭示出嚟。喺西貢斬竹灣紀念共黨抗日遊擊活動嘅儀式，今年相當隆重。活動之後，記者訪問一啲遊擊隊嘅成員。Yisiki 不過，呢啲自稱東江遊擊隊嘅隊員，同特區政府承認嘅港九大隊成員互相不聞不問，壁壘分明。佢哋打乜嘢我都唔知啊！嗰啲嗰啲佢哋講佢嘅係嘛，我哋講我哋嘅，我哋就正正式式係香港，係香港噶。羅歐峰夫婦話：，自從特區政府承認港九大隊喺戰時嘅貢獻之後。亦都有其他組織宣稱係曾經喺香港抗日嘅共黨遊擊隊。對於呢班人同埋佢哋提及嘅事蹟，港九大隊嘅成員話未曾聽過。呢、這個田咧荒嘅時候冇人去耕，係嘛？而家裏邊咧肥啦，個個去爭，好多人有寫真嘅歷史，好多人寫假嘅歷史，啊！所以呢個都係唔奇怪。一九四五年八月六號同埋九號，美國喺日本分別投下兩枚原子彈，而日本就喺八月十五號宣布無條件投降。一個月之後，英國太平洋艦隊司令下確少將就喺港督府接受日軍嘅降書。三年零八个月嘅沦陷时期正式结束，沦陷嘅痛苦已经成为过去，但系呢一段沦陷嘅历史又要经过几耐，先至可以填补到嗰个空白嘅片段呢？